Morning everyone. I got my coffee. I'm tired. Got a got an interesting topic to talk about this this time around. It's probably gonna be a touch controversial, but that's what I'm all about here. Let's do this. So recently, some reality TV star on a show I don't watch said something that was pretty stupid. Apparently, this was normal for him. I don't know, and I don't really care. The thing is, I don't care what any reality TV star says pretty much ever. I don't care what Honey Boo Boo says. I don't care what Kim Kardashian says. In reality, I don't care what this Duck Dynasty guy said. The reason why I'm talking about it is actually the outrage that came from it and the bigger picture because that does need to be addressed. Now as you all know I'm an atheist, I mean I did a video on it, click right here if you want to see it. So for me the whole idea of religious fundamentalism is no, just no, I don't support it, I don't respect it, I don't want it anywhere near me. Um, I have a very different view of the Bible than they do. I see it as a work of fiction. And I see them blindly and stupidly living their lives by that book and its anachronistic fables and fairy tales. That's me putting it nicely. Since this whole controversy started, all I've seen is people going, and he's like, Well, it's his religious beliefs! And that is wrong. No. It is not their religious beliefs. It's their hate hidden behind their religious beliefs. One of the things they kept pointing out was how many Americans actually supported this same thing. About 25% of the country is very much so hard up for, for religious fundamentalism. About a third of the country is honestly anti-LGBT. But here's the thing about it all. There's a harsh truth to it, and I'm going to say this, and I don't care who it offends. Claiming it's your religious beliefs and not just you is a lie. And all they're doing is just hiding behind their Bible, their, their cult, their beliefs, to push their message of hate. That's all it is. When you have organizations like the Salvation Army, you know those guys ringing the bell out of front of your grocery store? Supporting the agenda to put gays to death. That's way past being a, a biblical or religious belief. That's hate. That's bigotry. That's fucked up. When you have American conservatives who are supporting the anti-LGBT laws in Uganda, including the Kill the Gays bill, that is beyond belief. That is hate. That is wrong. We all know they're merely just picking and choosing their beliefs. They're feigning outrage. It's just so disgusting how they're hiding behind their religion to push their hate. It needs to be said that they're, they're just bigots. They're homophobic bigots hiding behind their religion. Here's the thing about it all. The one that truly gets to me is that religion has for a very long time been used to oppress other people. I mean, we don't even need to go back to the Crusades or anything like that. If we look at how the Bible was used to justify justify slavery in this country, you can kind of go, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't believe you, and I don't support it. Most people don't like to talk about it, but the Three-Fifths Compromise, which we all learned about in junior high history, was based on interpretation. I gotta stress interpretation. It was based on interpretation of the Bible, a biblical text on how to treat slaves. The Bible tells you wonderful stuff like beat, how to beat your slaves, how to sell them, when you've gone too far. A lot of those same principles were used in relation to the U.S. In fact, the only actual biblical tenet this country was founded on was slavery. We jump forward about a hundred years at the end of slavery, and what do we see? We see interracial marriage coming into play. We see Loving v. Virginia 
and how it was ruled unconstitutional to ban interracial marriage. The exact same arguments against marriage equality today were the ones being used back then to stop interracial marriage. The same abomination of God is against my religion, this is not what God intended. The same hateful lies hidden behind religion were being used then as they are now. There is very little difference. It is still hate hidden behind religion. That much has not changed. And let's not forget, the vast majority of homophobes either come from racist families or used to be incredibly racist themselves. In fact, quite a few of them still are racist as all hell. They've just moved on to a new group to hate. And again, a lot of them hide behind their religion. Hate is hate. I don't care what their religion says. The, the part that absolutely drives me beyond any sort of compassion into straight up anger is that the majority of Christians don't even know their own Bible. We have a saying in the atheist community, if you want to know what the Bible says, go talk to an atheist. They've actually read it, and that's why we're atheists. I mean, the Bible actually condones abortion. There are about 12 verses that actually condone abortion. Think about that for a second. Every time abortion comes up, you're killing the babies to get God's will. America's doomed because of abortion. Yeah, except for the fact the Bible is actually cool with it. Think about it for a second. The people who claim that the Bible guides their life, you can tell beyond a shadow of a doubt, they just pick and choose their beliefs. They don't even follow the Big Ten Commandments, let alone the rest of 603. There's about 613 commandments in all. You can tell they just pick and choose it. Now here's something really interesting. Their Bible is not some sort of moral beacon. It condones stuff like abortion, rape, selling your daughter into slavery, Conquest, concubines, sex slaves. The only talk of, talk of marriage in the Bible is when it comes to polygamy and selling your daughter into an arranged marriage. Think about that for a second too when they say biblical marriage. The book has Martha's views on incest, fratricide, and murder. Yeah, one of the Ten Commandments says don't do it, but the book condones it all over the place elsewhere. It's kind of amorphous. They claim incest is wrong, yet, you know, both Adam and Eve and, you know, Noah, how they repopulate the earth, or how they populate, then repopulate the earth. Yeah. Think about that for a second. Lot, you know, the hero of Sodom and Gomorrah, which I always love when people point that out. I was like, this guy should turn to Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot? offered his daughters up to be gang raped by a village and then later had drunken ancestral relations with them. I'm sorry, but it's like the worst story to bring up in your defense. Ever. And the book, just to really point something out, is really funny when it says that it, conde it condemns divorces, which I don't see any fundamentalist at all railing against, even though that is the actual number one cause of disintegration of the traditional marriage right there. Literally, it is the number one cause because guess what? It's literally breaking apart. They don't talk about that. Planting two seeds in the same hole, two separate seeds of different plants, that's a one-way trip to hell. We already know about eating shellfish. We already know about wearing clothing and mixed fabric. We already know about women talking while on their period. Religious fundamentalists do not follow their own Bible. They just merely pick and choose their beliefs. And it is more than obvious that they are merely hiding their hate behind their Bible and trying to do it with impunity. And that's where I'm drawing the line. I refuse to respect 
anybody who claims that they are anti-LGBT or anti-marriage equality because their religion says so. I, from now on, will be calling them out on it. I will say bullshit to their fucking face and call them a liar. I will call them a bigoted homophobe to their face. I am saying this without any sort of care towards anybody's personal opinion, but if you do not support the LGBTQ community, you are a fucked up piece of shit bigoted asshole, plain and fucking simple. If you complain about us wanting special rights, you're a fucking idiot and you're a fucked up piece of shit bigoted asshole. If you say that we're shoving our ways down your throat, fuck you. And then if you say any of those things, claiming, no, 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 I'm not a bigot, it's by religion, well then double fuck you. You're not only a fucked up piece of shit bigoted asshole, but you're a disingenuous, lying, fucked up piece of shit bigoted asshole. And I do not respect you. This is, this has got to end. We, as the LGBTQ community, as atheists, as progressives, if you are a moderate Christian, you need to call them out on this. You need to start calling them liars to their faces. You need to start calling them bigoted homophobes to their faces. You need to stop letting them sit, tell their hate with impunity. And look, this isn't me attacking religion. I'm not attacking religion. I'm attacking a hateful bigot hiding behind religion. And it's time that we all start doing the same. If they want to believe in the Bible, well, I can try to tell them otherwise. But I'll tell you right now, the vast majority of them don't want to give it up. They don't care enough to learn that it's not real. But it is time that we sit here and say, no more. You are not hiding behind your religion anymore to preach a message of hate. They are the bigots, they are the homophobes, and they are merely hiding behind their religion. It is time to call them out.